Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be running through my SAS wish list. So SAS is coming up on June 3rd, so we have about a week and a half and I'm so excited. I've been writing down my list. I've been going through my collection, seeing what I need, seeing definitely what I don't need. And I'm gonna go through some things that I'm not going to be buying during SAS. But yeah, I've got my little wish list right here for you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and go through it. So I wanna start off by saying, this is a really great exercise to do before you go into the sale. Um, just really to take inventory of what you have and see what either is missing a pair or you already have a pair of and you don't need more of basically. So just a really good exercise to go through and see, okay, I have a ton of candles, I don't need candles, or I have a ton of shower gels, I don't need those, that kind of thing. You know, going through your collection, really seeing what you need and what you don't need. So um, after I did that in my collection, I realized that I don't need any more shower gels um, because I actually have a few that aren't even like paired up right now that I need to get a pair for. So I think I can cool it on shower gels. Um, I definitely don't need fine fragrance mist unless I fall in love with one of the new scents that comes out that is coming out for SAS. Um, I really don't need any fine fragrance mist and I don't need any Christmas candles. So sometimes my stores will have like an $8 or even a $6 table of previous seasons candles in three wick format. Like $6 is such a good deal but I have so many Christmas candles left over from last year that I definitely don't need to buy any of those. And I really wanna keep the amount of three wicks that I do buy to a minimum. So that is just letting you know kind of what I'm not going to be doing during SAS. Now, here's what I can do. I could definitely get body creams. I currently only have two in my collection and they're both Midnight Amber Glow. So I can definitely get body creams. Um, I can get body lotions as well. Those are fine for me and minis. I'm really going to be focusing on minis this SAS just because I am traveling and honestly I'm kind of missing having something like fun just to throw in the shower or throw into my routine that's a little bit different than my full size ones. Um, just to like give myself something to look forward to, something different from the status quo. So I'm really looking forward to minis and that's what I'll be focusing on for this year's SAS um, as well as single wick candles. So I actually moved from a townhome to a apartment this year and I've noticed that I really do appreciate single wicks so I'm going to try and get some of those during this year's SAS instead of three wick candles just because I have a lot of three wicks and I really don't need a lot of them because honestly a single wick does perfect in my bedroom or my uh, bathroom or my office so I really don't need all of the three wicks that I own so yeah I'll be focusing on single wicks hand lotions I'm actually running pretty low on hand lotions I only have two right now one is on my bedside table and one is on my purse. So that, that's all the hand soaps that I, not hand soaps, hand lotions that I own right now. So I definitely need hand lotions. Um, I would love to pick up a body scrub, probably only one, maybe two. Um, but I have a lot of coarse scrubs right now. Like I have some from Tree Hut and, um, and they're all very coarse and rough. And so I can only use those like once or twice a week. So I'm gonna look for some more like gentle scrubs, which would be the foaming body scrub from Bath & Body Works in the tube and also the glowing scrub. So both of those ones I'm looking for. I would really love to get Coco Paradise in the foaming, I think it's actually the glowing sugar scrub. I might not find that one on the best deal, so we'll just see what one I end up getting, but I definitely am looking for one in the tube. I do need some wallflowers, so right now, all the wallflowers that I have left are like bakery scents and that's not going to cut it for the bathroom. So I need some wallflowers that are just fresh and clean for the bathroom. I also need some hand soaps um, for the bathroom and for the kitchen. So I need like some lemony soaps and I would love to get some more for the summertime, maybe even going into fall and winter. Um, I can usually find pretty cheap soaps at my outlet near me. They're only like $2 usually so I'm hoping I can find some of those pick up some more to last me through the summer and then to start on in the fall. And that's really all of like the categories that I'm looking for. So um, now I'm gonna go through some of the scents that I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna go through some of the pairs that I'm looking for. So as far as three wick candles, the only ones that I'm really looking for are these three, fresh coconut and cotton. And I can also find that in a single wick, but. I really love that one and I want to get a new one of it. I just finished it up like two months ago. 
and then Santorini Coast, which I actually just finished up like last week. So I'd love to get another one of that to burn again this summer. And oh, it was just such a good scent. And then in the stars, if they have it again, great. If they don't, it's okay. I'm not gonna be sad about it, but I would love to have another in the stars to leave in my bedroom. It was just the perfect bedroom scent. And then I actually have these two shower gels that I wanna share with you guys because I need to find some matching pairs for them. So I'd love to hear if you have some ideas, but I have Life of the Party right here in the shower gel. This is Pink Citrus, Bubbly Prosecco, Jasmine, and Shimmering Vanilla. So I need, I think, um, just a lotion to pair with this one. I think definitely Champagne Toast would be good, but I don't know, I'm a little burnt out on Champagne Toast right now. So I'm actually thinking um, Gingham Gorgeous would be a really good pair for this one, just because I know it's also kind of a fruity floral. So I think those two will pair really well together. And I want to use this one sometime soon. I feel like it would be really nice to like transition into fall um, or I could just save it for New Year's time again. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go for Gingham Gorgeous to pair with this one. And then I have Among the Clouds in the shower gel. Um, I definitely want to pick up a body lotion or body cream to go with this one. I could pick up Among the Clouds, like the, the scent again, but I kind of would want to try something new and I've never tried <laughs> Boardwalk Taffy. Is that what it is? I can't remember exactly the name of the one that I'm thinking of in my head. Is it Whipped Cotton Candy Clouds? Is that what I'm thinking of? So something like that, something fruity, but this one is Wild Berry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. So I think I could definitely find something really yummy to pair with it, but that is this one. So I need to find a lotion or a cream to go with this one. Okay, now I'm gonna go into some of the scents that I'm looking for. So from the new collections, I have Disco Daydream on my list. Um, that is in the new like 70s collection. I think that collection is so cute and beautiful packaging. So very happy that they came out with that. I think it's adorable. Um, I do anticipate it's only gonna be 50% off, but same as last year, that collection last year, the bubble gum and the, um, the cinnamon sugar donut, that collection stayed at 50% off pretty much the entire SAS until like the very end. And by then some of the stuff was sold out. So I'm just gonna go for Disco Daydream on day one. I'm gonna smell it of course first, but I definitely want that scent in some format. And then a whipped coconut milkshake. So you guys can see where I'm at. I really want some like vanilla coconuts. So I'm also gonna sniff whipped coconut milkshake. I think that line is so cute with a little straw down the fine fragrance mist. It's just adorable. So I'm gonna smell both of those. I might only get one of them because they're kind of the same sounding, but I'll see once I smell them if I like them both or like one better than the other. So I'm definitely looking out for those two. And I am looking for some in the stars. I would love to use more of that collection. I have the perfume right now and I've only ever used it in minis. So I would love to get something in, in, in the stars and just kind of try it out in a full size and see what I think. I think it'd be really nice. Um, I also want to get into the night. So I don't know how I'm going to find those for a good deal at SAS. We'll see. But I want to get some in the stars and into the night just because I've never really been into perfumey scents before, but I think those two are really great and I want to try them in a full size finally. And then I'm also looking for Midnight Amber Glow. That was like my favorite scent that they came out with last year. Um, I do still have a shower gel and two body creams, like I said. So I'm looking for a fine fragrance mist of that one um, and maybe a lotion as well. We'll just see where that takes me but I'm definitely looking for Midnight Amber Glow in any format that I can find it. And then I'm also gonna be looking for a little bit of aromatherapy. I've noticed recently my bathroom at this new place is so amazing. I spend a lot of time in there, like whether it's in the shower, the shower is absolutely gorgeous, or if I'm like having a skincare night or whatever, I kind of want something aromatherapy to make me feel like it's a spa night. So I don't know what scent yet, I have no clue, I really, don't delve into aromatherapy that much. I've mostly only tried the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. That's like the only thing that I ever really keep on hand, but I'm open to other scents. So we'll just see what I can find and I will sniff stuff, but I definitely want something aromatherapy in a lotion to just make me, make me feel like I'm at a spa whenever I have those nice self-care nights. Okay, and that's it. So I think I did really go over my list this year. I have a lot of stuff on here, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be picking up that much. Besides like minis and single wicks, I'm gonna to try to keep what I pick up to a minimum. Um, I'm just really trying to keep my collection down and continue downsizing throughout the summer. That way I'm ready for fall because fall is my favorite time of year. You guys have heard this spiel all the time, but yeah, I want my collection to be ready for fall. So 
I want to pick up as little as possible. I do want to mention though, something that I didn't write on that list is if I find any fall candles, I know I said no picking up um, Christmas or holiday candles because I have a ton of those, but I don't actually have a ton of fall candles. I think I have like a pumpkin peanut brittle and a white pumpkin and that's it. So I can definitely pick up some fall candles if I find them on a good deal. I think $8 or under is definitely a good deal for fall. So I will be on the lookout for those because those are just literally my favorite scents. So yeah, that's everything for my SAS wish list. Let me know down below what are you guys looking for? What's on your list? What are you also not buying? Really interested to hear that as well. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.